what is up ladies and gentlemen today we're going to be we are back with something a little different today i'm going to show you how to install the creation kit for skyrim special edition slash anniversary edition and the changes that you have to make to the any files in order to get multiple masters to load so without further ado let's get started shall we so first of all you're going to want to come to your steam go to steam library and then you're going to come down to here where it says Skyrim uh, Special Edition Creation Kit. You're going to right click, go up to install, and then install it on the drive that you have all your game stuff on. I have mine on D, so I'm going to be selecting D drive. Then you're going to hit install. And this will be a hit and miss. So as you notice here on the right, I have my notepad opened up with everything that we are going to be needing in order to get this to work. And then we wait and wait and wait. Okay, so Creation Kit is finally all load, all um, downloaded. So now what we're going to do is we're going to launch the Creation Kit. Now this is going to come up. Because there are some scripts that do have to be updated and unpacked. So you just simply click Yes. And then it's a matter of waiting. Then, of course, this will come up here, and this is where you wait. And like I said, what we're going to be needing is over here, we're going to be needing these allow files, and you have to put them in exactly as uh, they are on my notepad. And then over here, you have your downguard.bsa, hearthfire.bsa. Those will be, you have to put those into the archive, so we will be doing all that. So I'll be right back as soon as this BSA unscripted. Uh, loads up Okay, so it finally uploaded everything now you're going to get this here where it says replace the files in this destination simply click on that and Then let it do its thing A lot of, a lot of things to do with creation kit starts wait and wait and wait <laughs> So once this once this is done we are going to be going into where our game folder is and that's where your skyrim.exe is and then we're going to be going into the creation kit.ini but as you can see it's copying 16,100 files that's a lot of damn files I hope you got a big computer like holy crap so yeah starting today I'm going to be trying to do um a little bit, a bit of tutorials that I know how to do with uh, Skyrim. Skyrim, I do a lot more with Fallout than I do with Skyrim, and Skyrim is a whole different ball game. So if you got you got your phone beside you, watch a few videos. Just watch a few videos. Almost there, people. We're almost there. We're almost there. So I will be leaving all this information in the description. So we're, I'm just going to control, alt, delete. And I'm just going to quickly get out of here because we don't really need to load it up right now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our game folder. Like I said, where your Skyrim SE.exe is. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for this here, creationkit.ini. So you're just going to double click and you're going to open that up. Put your mouse, put your cursor to the left of the general. Click enter to give yourself some space. And then what you're going to copy do is you're going to copy these two files. You only need these two files. You don't need the general because it's already there. So you're going to hit copy. You're going to come over here and you're going to hit paste. So I'm going to get rid of that little space. And then what you're going to be doing, I'm going to put this full screen. We're going to come down here to where it says archive. 
So we're going to go right over, all the way over. Right here where it says resource pack, we're going to put a comma. Then we're going to put in, I got to check my little notepad for a second, make sure I get the right order. So we're going to be doing Dongard first. So Dongard dot BSA comma space. And then we're going to be doing Hearthfire with the S. dot BSA space. Oh, sorry, go back, put in our comma, then space. Uh, we should put a space right here too, shouldn't we? Let's just do a little space there. And then the very final one is going to be our Dragonborn. Dragonborn dot BSA. So that's all you're going to have to put for that. So you're going to come up here now. You're going to come up here to the file, and you're going to hit save. And that basically, ladies and gentlemen, is everything you need to do for the .ine. Now we're going to come down here to the creation kit .prefs.ini. We're going to open that up. And as you can see, I have already put it in there. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put your cursor to the left of the display. You're going to hit enter. And then you're going to put everything in, including the general. I'm going to get rid of that space. I hate spaces. So this is how it is going to look. So like I said, in the description, I will put this information so you have it right at hand. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.